Hello, so a few days ago I was modeling a low poly brass. Check my channel if you want to find out how to do this low poly brass. And in this video I'm gonna show you how to copy a bunch of grass across the entire scene. There are some ways we can do it manually with particle systems, but I found out that we have a geometry node, actually, a new thing in Blender, a new asset. Actually, it was added in Blender 2.92 version. So I decided to deep dive into geometry nodes because it is very useful thing and it's getting a lot of updates, so I think it is time. Alright, so I have low poly grass. Uh, this bunch is already joined. And we have separate parts, separate sticks. So, uh, actually, the easiest way is to join and to make uh, groups, collections, and to copy across the entire scene. So, I'm gonna show you that way. Alright, so first of all, we need to join uh, these objects into one object. Alright, so uh, each object has uh, a pivot point. If we press Ctrl J on the keyboard, actually we have uh, one object right now and only one pivot point. If I go to edit mode, as you can see, it is only one object. All right, we have a, actually a group, a, one object. All right, so uh, first of all, we need to press Ctrl A on the keyboard and apply all transforms. So we're gonna reset location, scale, rotation to one position. It helps a lot and we did that. Right now the pivot one gone, so we need to add a pivot point to move a pivot point to the bottom of this object. Why? Because this object will be linked to the bottom, to the ground, so it will be easier to control, uh, uh, to move all to copy this object across the scene. Alright, so with the point select mode, we can select the one of the dot and press shift s on the keyboard cursor to select it and right now if i go to object mode let's go to object uh, tab again and set original original to 3d cursor and right now the pivot point appears in this position all right we have a pivot point and also one object Right now I can use actually geometry nodes and copy this object across the scene, but it will be pretty, pretty boring, yeah. So what we can do more? Actually we can add another grass or another stone to our collection. We can do collection and copy all collection across the scene. Alright, so I'm gonna use uh, these grass. Alright, so Let's join together. Control J. Object uh, object right now is uh, solid, and right now if we press Control A and apply all transforms, a pivot point goes away. We need to set the point again, as in the previous example. Select one of the point and press Ctrl A on, uh, not Ctrl A, excuse me, uh, Shift S and cursor to select. Cursor is uh, set it to this place. All right, and we need to go to object mode and set original to original to 3D cursor. All right, this object has uh, his own original point and this object also has the one all right, so we have two objects. Actually, we can add another object like stone. It will be 
better if we have something like stone or like gravy ground gravel ground all right so let's copy this object shim d i to move it all right and let's scale it a little bit because i want that stones would be small all right and also the pivot point is in the middle so we i want to make that pivot point would be uh, at the bottom of this object all right so control uh, a once again apply all transforms and let's go to edit mode yes this object is spread small let's select the bottom point and once again shift a a uh, shift s apologize cursor to select it and let's go to object mode object set original original to 3d cursor all right we have it g x g y let's move it closer to this object all right now now we have three separate objects and i have to make collection of these objects because i want to copy these objects across the entire scene so how we can do it press m button on the keyboard and let's make new collection so i can name it like grass stone and another grass uh right grass small all right press ok button on the keyboard uh, on the tab and actually we have a collection all right so we and right now we are ready to go to geometry nodes let's go to geometry nodes and actually we right now ready to do our geometry node stuff click new button on and right now we have group input group output uh, actually the main options of geometry nodes are here so for this example we gonna use instance on points yes and let's put between these nodes group input and group uh, group output all right and right now yeah we did wrong let's add geometry nodes actually not for the grass but for the mesh actually i already separated the top part of this object with actually b button can separate uh, the face and right now i have a separated object right now i can add the geometry nodes to this object because we want that the grass and bunches go uh, on the top of this object yeah so let's try to do again instance instance on points and put it between these nodes so you can see right now uh, i can't see the top mesh so also we need to add join join geometry there and connect geometry to jo join geometry node right now we're saying that we're gonna use and we want to see the actually mesh all right so right now we are ready to copy grass uh, across the entire scene once again shift a button and actually there are two options object info if you want to copy only one object across the entire scene and collection if info if you want to copy a group a collection so for this example we're gonna use collection info geometry connect to instance because we want to instance some objects some collections all right and if i click there i can see 
my collection grass stone grass mold all right let's choose it and right now something not good is happening something wrong we need to we want to copy actually to move and to add collection on this part on this mesh so how we can do that uh, mark these mark these points separate children and reset children and right now we have it actually these are these objects moved on the top mesh and to scale it these objects uh, we can do it easily in scale option like that 0 0.01 maybe shift button to to move it slowly all right have a bunch of grass on the top of the mesh all right so right now we need to uh, randomize to add grass on the top and across the entire scene so how we can do that we can distribute points on faces yeah let's add distribute points on faces and put between group input and instance on points and actually we have it grass across the entire scene density to increase quantity of the grass seed to randomize actually according according procedure all right we have actually the basic grass and if i mark this option pick instance as you can see right now blender is algorithm actually selecting uh, an object randomly so sometimes it is selecting stone sometimes it is selecting grass or the small grass so that's what we want also we can randomize actually the size of the grass and rotation of the grass so how we can do it pretty uh, simple just uh, type random and we have random value connect value to scale and we have it but right now the value is too big max and minimum is zero so we can set minimum value is up to zero one and maximum value up to zero two but right now we have some random size grass it uh, it is scaling randomly all right so the minimum uh, value uh, would uh, will be at least zero one maximum value uh, won't be uh, higher than 0 0.02 all right so we can play with these settings uh, for rotation also let's copy random value there oh all right you do not need to random value there and let's connect to rotation and right now if a float setting is set it but we do not we don't want to rotate random randomly on all uh, axes only on the z-axis to do to rotate all uh, objects on the z-axis choose vector let's connect once again and right now something weird is happening but we need to rotate only on the z-axis so uh, x and y we don't need it so let's choose only minimum for the z-axis and maximum for the z-axis as well and right now if i increase the dens density a little bit all right my battery all right if i increase density right now a little bit 
and can seal a little bit more pieces. All right, let's add. And actually, I have a field of grass. But all right, let's go to the port mode to see better. All right, I have a field of, of grass, and uh, the issue is that grass uh, is going up through all objects in the scene through fireplace, through the stones, through the tent. But I don't want that. So there are some ways how to how to fix that. For me, the easiest way is to add actual mesh, uh, similar to to an object. So for this example, fireplace. Let's scale it. It should guide the fireplace or your object. And first of all, I think we need to see who this object to let's enable wire mode and right now i want actually to do that uh, this area uh, in this area uh, grass doesn't grow up so how we can do that actually select the top mesh uh, with the grass and go to Modifiers options, add modifier boolean and move uh, boolean to the top. It should be the first modifier in modifier properties. And right now, if I select the sphere, as you can see, we fix it actually. And we don't have the grass in this area. Also, that's very good because I can control it in real time and make it bigger or smaller. And that's very cool. And actually you can do uh, the same procedure for this tent. We can do that, mesh cube, just move it like that. And GY scale it also enable wire mode and actually again modifier and another modifier it is boolean modifier and select the cube there and actually we need to move it to the top and we have it the issue is fixed and actually we have it the scene with grass some random stones and it looks pretty good colors are also are randomized and colors we can do uh, more colors in, in shading tab actually we need to find the original mesh of this grass so actually that's it it was pretty fun to play with geometry nodes i'm pretty new in this asset but i hope in, in the next videos video i also try to do something with geometry nodes because it's pretty pretty good and it's pretty pretty useful thing to know that because you can use Geometry knows for a lot of, for modeling a lot of. So thank you for watching and see you next time.